Alright guys, welcome back. Thank you for coming back and watching another video here on uh, Reckit FPV. Um, sorry it's been a while since I've done a video, um, but I'll do a, a video about that later. Uh, so currently, I have an unpackaging I am about to do here from Mac Ewan 3D, uh, something I've recently gotten into, um, because I haven't showed the video yet, but I will be doing a video on it as well. So I recently purchased one of these Creality CR10S 3D printers. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but it is working currently, printing me out some of these lovely little XD60 uh, plugs. So those are great. I'm going to print a bunch of them and just give them away. So if you need some, let me know. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, before you buy your CR10, all right. So this is not the original CR10. This is the CR10S, uh, which just has an extra uh, Z rod. But you know, once you get into that, you'll figure it out. No big deal. And um, if you want, come check out my CR10S um, uh, review, which I'll be putting up shortly as well. Anyhow, back to what you should get if, when you purchase, or before you purchase, or shortly after, or whenever. Just just get one of these. If you have a CR10, or you know even uh, any of the models that are compatible basically with this, which I'll go into briefly, um, any of those models, this is a great upgrade to it. So we're just going to go ahead and unpack this, cut this guy open. I'm pretty excited to uh, get this because um, instantly the CR10 um, it prints great stock. You know, I had to tweak it a little bit. You know, I'll go into that more in the review. Um, but this is basically an upgrade uh, to the extruder gear that pulls the filament from the filament roll uh, into the actual Bowden tube. Alright. Making it easier for the filament to pass. Oh, whoa, hey, look! They even gave me a blow pop. Thanks, and 3 d for the blow pop. I appreciate that. Um, my daughter or I, maybe me, will love this. That's awesome. Alright. Here they, here they uh, send you your own little personalized uh, note there, you know, get your name there, that's fancy, I like that, you know. Uh, I'm sure you'll find our steel gear and Flexi Plus to be a vast improvement over factory components. Uh, see, that's what I'm getting at here. Uh, the factory components are well, um, I'll try to drop a picture. Uh, but they're all plastic, and uh, I couldn't, the gear was kind of stripping my PLA a little bit. It wasn't pushing it um, as much as it needed to, uh, or maybe the hot end wasn't getting hot enough. You know, I'm not sure, but um, anyhow, this is a great upgrade to the original um, extruder. So they have a Facebook as well, and um, they thanked me. Ryan from MacUN 3D, uh, thank you very much. Uh, for this, and I'm sure I will enjoy it. I'm sure my prince will enjoy it. And so basically what this does... I'll try to find a better picture. Basically what it does right now is the filament um, comes in and it has a, l a little bit of room uh, before it actually gets to, you know, gets to the gear. Um, so what this does is it allows the filament to pass through a tube that goes all the way up to the gear instead of the filament just being loose. And then on the other side of the gear it it has a Bowden tube that comes right up to the gear as well allowing the filament to pass through the tube instead of possibly curling around the gear uh, which is apparently what happens to TPU when you try to run it on the CR10 uh, with the st uh, stock extruder, which is what I'm getting at. <laughs> if you want to print TPU right away on the um, CR10S without any uh, major issues, uh, this is the thing you need. This is the guy you need right here. Uh, MacUN 3D, they sell it all. Super simple, quick buy, not that expensive. Um, all your little pieces and parts are here, uh, super easy, um, and I did also buy a uh, steel 
um, steel gear, ex gear extruder. Uh, so if my brass one seems to fail me, then I have a, this back up here. So I also recommend doing that. That way, if you feel like uh, your your brass one isn't uh, doing well, then you have this back up here just to to pop pop <coughs> excuse me pop right in there. Um, so you also have your um, all aluminum hardware, which is also you know going to be way better than your um, plastic uh, plastic housing on the other one. And so 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 this this is what I'm talking about here. Let me take this piece out. Make sure I don't misplace anything. So this gear will basically be be pressed almost close enough to to this right roll right here anyhow. So the tube will pass the filament right up to the gear and there'll be another tube right where my pointer finger is that just picks the TPU right up right when the extruder spits it right out the other end and guides it uh, right into the the uh, following the Bowden tube all the way down to the hot end um, so it shouldn't you shouldn't have any problems with it wrapping uh, so that's my hopes and I plan on printing some TPU here shortly after I get this installed um, so uh, I will do an installation video so uh, I'll do that separately uh, that way you can watch it if you want you don't have to if you don't want to uh, purchase it and install it yourself if you like but I uh, I highly recommend uh, these before you buy your CR10S or your CR10 or um, any of the any of the um, compatible models because there's there's more than this, just those those few um, but anyhow uh, stay tuned for more videos and MacUN 3D um, check them out if uh, you want to get any kind of upgrades to your to your printer. Uh, this is the MK8 extruder um, Flexi Plus um, upgrade. So if that's the one you want to check out, I will leave a, uh, a link in the description down below. And thanks for watching. Come check out some more, and I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and yeah, that other stuff. See you later.